Hello everyone, Ryan here with Product Impressions, and today we are going to get to check out the new Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra Earbuds. Uh, I don't have any experience with the really high-end noise-canceling headphones from Bose, so I'm really looking forward to trying these things out. I am a big fan of the headphones from Sony. These are the 1000 series. Uh, they're top-of-the-line over-the-ear headphones, so let's go ahead and compare the noise canceling between Sony and Bose for their high-end headphones. I know it's not really a fair comparison between over-ear and in-ear, but it's the best that I can do right now. So uh, let's go ahead and pop these open, get these things set up, and see what we think. All right, I have been using these Bose QuietComfort Plus headphones for a couple of weeks now. And this may not be a very popular opinion, but I'm not terribly impressed by these. We, I mean, we can start off with what they actually do well. First off, they do have uh, some spatial audio features, which are quite nice. Uh, if you haven't used those before, basically when you turn these on and set it up, you can have it kind of orient the sound around you based on the direction that you're facing. It's kind of like as if the audio were coming from a speaker in the room that were in front of you and if you turn to the right you will hear more from the right if you turn to the left you hear more from the left it's a nice trick does it really improve the sound dramatically maybe a little bit not not dramatically um, on the very outside aspects of what you might use this for i could see using that when you are running to give yourself a better sense of direction you know, if you're facing due north and you turn this on, then the audio always kind of sounds like it's coming from due north rather than uh, just kind of generically around you. From a noise canceling perspective, they're good. I wouldn't say that they're great. Do they stand up to the over the ear headphones? No way, shape or form. And these are several years old at this point versus brand new. But at the same time, are they that great as far as noise canceling for in ear headphones? They're fine. Um, I would say that they're probably comparable to the about $100 Sony headphones that I tried out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so, you know, $120 versus $450. Battery life seems to be about the same. Um, also, I would say that I did try going outside exercising with these. I would not recommend that. I've always had a kind of a hard time with in-ear headphones staying in. I have had some good luck with the LG Tone Free headphones, but these are significantly heavier and shaped differently than that. And I found that they would stay in very well if I did not move for probably about 15 minutes or so. And then if I started moving around, they would just kind of pop right out. Uh, even more so if I were just sitting at my desk and working, I could use them for maybe an hour before they would just start naturally falling out of my ears. Uh, so yeah, not great as far as staying in, particularly if you are doing something active and moving around a lot. On top of that, there are touch controls on these, which while I applaud them trying, I don't think it's terribly well implemented. Maybe it's because the area that you can touch is so large, like here, let me pull out one of these. Basically, the entire gray surface on this is touch control. You've got nice little features of tap to answer or decline. You can swipe up or down to change the volume, double tap to skip forward, triple tap to skip back. That's getting a little bit convoluted. If I tried skipping back, I found that it would either skip forward or pause typically. So I'm not sure what I was doing wrong as far as that is concerned, but that also comes with its own problems vis-a-vis -vis the falling out of the ears. When I was just simply walking around outside, I was listening to some music, it felt it falling out, and even though I was doing my best to grip from the sides, I still wound up just inadvertently brushing that little silver plate there, and every time that I would touch it, it would pause or it would skip forward. It became quite frustrating because it was constantly falling out, and if I did anything to try and keep it in, I would be messing with what I was hearing. So yeah, not terribly impressed with that either. Um, all in all, I'm inclined to say that these are not really worth the money. Uh, if you need something for exercise, there are other headphones that will stay in better. 
the audio quality is going to be a little bit less. Like these definitely do have much more resonant bass than the LG tone free ones, but at the same time, they're only as good as they stay in. And if they keep falling out, that's a problem. I tried all the different sizes and no luck. Uh, yeah, all, all in all, I'm inclined to say you can do, you, you can get a similar quality for maybe a quarter of the price and be just about as satisfied as you would be with these. I'm not sure that these are really worth that kind of money. Uh, left to my own devices, I would get something like the LG Tone Free that I had tested before for exercise. They're much lighter weight, they still have the touch controls, and they actually sit in a position which will stay in my ears if I go for a run. If you want something that is to be used inside, over-the-ear headphones, dramatically better, way better noise canceling, better battery life, better audio quality. I mean, the music is going to sound good through either one of these, but it's just going to be more comfortable with something over the ear. If you need something for doing work, the bone conduction headphones that I tried out uh, from Shox, those uh, with the little microphone to go in front, that is the best that I've ever used for work because it can connect to multiple devices. Not so much here. So I feel like the audio quality is great. If you're somebody who never has any problem with headphones staying in, then these could be good for you. Otherwise, there are better options for exercise, better options for sitting around, better options for virtually anything. I, I fail to see a circumstance where this would be the ideal headphone. So yeah, if you have any questions about these, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will do my best to answer. Keep in mind that I am probably not going to be keeping these. Now that I have them, I will probably end up giving them away or whatever the case may be. So uh, yeah, hopefully this has been of some help to you. Like, share, subscribe. I will see you next time.